What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a little game called Delivery from the Pain. We played this a long time ago. I wanted to check back in and see how the game's been going. I went through its update list and it looks like they've been pumping out little patches and things in order to make the game more pleasant and fun for everybody involved. If you don't know what it is, it's a zombie survival building sandboxy game where you've got a little guy, you build up your base, you fight off some zombies, you go out on away missions, all the standard stuff. Let's check the game on out and have some fun with it. Start. Uh, we can pick who we want to play as. We can either play as Samantha Aaron or we can play as Freeman Mason, a former decorated police detective. Okay. And then her over there, prior to Doomsday, she's a defense attorney. Apparently she's intelligent and eloquent and has a good memory, but is also headstrong. All right. So it seems like she's mostly good. It seems like he's kind of the fighter character. She's kind of like the crafting survival character. Let's try her out. Uh, we'll play on normal mode. Sounds good. Skip the prologue. Nah, man, let's do the prologue. Why not? Let's dive straight on in and see what this thing's got to offer. By the end of 2017, Jonestown had seen a large number of humans mutating into zombies. Feels bad. A month later, Jonestown fell to the ground. I don't know, the text is so slow that I don't know how to read it in an engaging way. I was lucky to find a safe area. But now that luck has come to an end. Whoever it was that was doing the prologue, this guy right here that's typing right now, he definitely should have paid attention better when he was playing Mavis Beacon. The nearby fence has fallen. Uh-oh. Zombies, there are so many. All right, well, oh, we're running now. Okay. I was attacked by a heaving mob of flesh-craving zombies. A stranger appeared. The text went really fast. Apparently that person got a lot of band-aids on her head. She took a head injury very recently. Exhausted as I strove to defend myself from ravening death, I couldn't finish the sentence again. <laughs> I read too slowly, oh god. Oh, thank God. I thought you were never going to wake up after those decayed things swarmed all over you. We don't have much time. The sun's going down. We got to get out of here as soon as possible. Let me help you. All right, let's go. How are you feeling? Can you walk? Barely. You just saved my life. Thank you for helping me out. I didn't expect so many zombies to appear near my shelter. Well, we're all in this together. Let's talk later. We have to go. The zombies are going to leave the city in ruins when it's dark and start seething onto the streets like angry ants. After 6 p.m., we're dead for sure. All right, well, let's get on out of here. All right, so it looks like we can move the position of our character. We can click left to search cabinets, and then we can also enter and exit scenes through available doorways. Is there a button that I can push in order to, like, see what's lootable? I guess I'll just go this way. Hey, there's a door over here. Let's click on it. Hold on, I want to see what's inside of here. Give me a minute. It takes me a really long time to open doors. You were just viciously attacked by zombies. Don't return there again until you're better able to handle yourself with better hardware in your arsenal. Oh, maybe that's the exit to the zone. Okay. Well, let's take a look around and see what we can find around this area. I think she's going to, like, protect me or something. So, yeah, save me, gun mom. Save me. Shh, keep down the noise and let's get out of here quick. All right, how do I do the sneaky sneakies? What's up? Listen carefully. The sound, is that a zombie? Shh, more than one. They're over there. Zombies are alerted by sound and by movement. We had better sneak in. All right, shouldn't we kill all the zombies while we have the chance? I mean, if you want to keep breathing, you'd do well not to waste your time and energy on unnecessary combat. We're going to do a tactical withdrawal. All right, well, let's get moving. Okay, we can go into sneak mode automatically. Oh, nice. So move slowly and quietly to prevent them from discovering you from hearing your footsteps. You may enter run status automatically when zombies are not nearby. Okay. What's up with this room over here? I want a weapon. Do we have something like, just in case, like I'm not super good at sneaking, right? And, and the zombies manage to see me and hurt my face. See, like that thing, look at the middies on that guy right there. That guy's got some serious paws. Like, I'm going to need some weapons in order to, like, you know, do combat with the paws. That's all that I'm saying. 
Oh, there's a bunch of them. I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in any of these directions. I feel like bad things are going to happen if I do. Let's just leave. All right, so our shelter's back over here. Let's go to the shelter. Let's do it. Takes us 15 minutes to haul ass back over here. Maybe uh, Gun Mom will teach us about how to build our base. She will, yay. Uh, ha, we made it. Is this your shelter? It's a little more than shack. It's fine. I don't need creature comforts, just the basics, and I'm happy to be alive. Keep being complacent. You won't stay alive much longer. Who the hell are you? That's a strange uniform you've got on. You don't look like an average survivor. I came from the Northern Human Stronghold with the Survivor Rescue Team. So you're here to help me out? Do you seriously think that I can help you here? This is a tough area of the city. My survivor rescue team was dispatched on a routine search and rescue mission survey. Zombies came at us and keep coming. We were overrun and only I survived. I doubt HQ is going to send out another unit, so we're on our own for now. You look awful. You're all bloodied up. How bad is that wound? You had better check your status first. Alright, so it looks like our character status. Uh, we're doing super well on pills right now. We are like super ripped on Oxy. Apparently our eyeballs have taken a lot of damage, and then on top of that, we also appear to be hungry, and, and then unfortunately we appear to be somewhat midway low on emojis. Alright, so we have a compromised bone. Okay. You're badly injured and your wound is going to get worse by tonight. You look hungry and tired, Sam. I got some field rations. Here, take a packet. You're going to need your strength, so eat. All right, so we've got a canned meat right there. I'm going to eat it. Sounds good. Apparently, we are also just going to drink an entire bottle of vodka by ourselves. Don't mention it. Hit the sack and get some sleep. You look exhausted. What about you? Well, the shelter doesn't have a proper defense perimeter. I'm afraid that zombies are going to wander in during the night, so I'll have to stand watch. Well, let me guard with you in shifts. I... Forget it. You're too weak to be heroic. Just sleep and recuperate. It'll help us both out. All right, you win. I'll go to sleep. All right, well, our bed is over. Oh, we're sleeping on, like, a big paddock made out of wood. That looks really uncomfortable. But we do have a pillow. I suppose that's a start, but we're probably going to wake up with some bruises, you know, having, like, oh, zombies are coming. Goody. Oh, Jesus, how did this happen? Oh, no, Gun Mom got slain. You're badly injured. It seems like there's a lot of zombies around here. We need to be careful. Fortunately, I'm still alive, but I didn't expect you would sleep so well while I was fighting all those zombies. I'm sorry. I'm going to go to the clinic for medical supplies. Hey, don't be silly. It's not dawn yet. You'll be ripped apart by zombies if you try to leave now. Well, what should I do? Last thing. This is my grandfather's watch. I want you to have it. Put it on. How do you expect to survive on your own without any combat experience? I noticed that you have a reading desk. With it, you can research how to make a decent fence for the shelter. That way, you don't have to worry about zombies coming in at night. But your wounds... I have... I can serve sentry duty for the night. My ammo should hold, but leave now. You die on me, and you wasted me saving your sorry ass. Alright. So when do I get to go outside? Let's see here. So they want me to study a crude fence. Let's do it. I'm studying so hard right now. All of my book learnings. Okay, now I'll go to the manufacturing station and build the fence. All right. Let's do it. Oh, and look at that. I have just enough wood in order to make a rustic, provincial, terrible fence. All right, that should be okay. What are you doing in there? I built a fence. Look at it. I built it, and it looks pretty good. It's morning now. You can go and check the clinic we talked about last night. We need to deal with our injuries as soon as possible. Prioritize taking any other materials that might be useful. All right, I'll get going. Wait, you're going unarmed? Are you suicidal? They're going to eat you alive. Here, take my dagger. It's got a good edge to it. Equip it now. All right. Yeah, sure, why not? I've got a blade. And Sam, I almost forgot. Take this. It's a zombie combat guide courtesy of the survivor rescue team. It's filled with helpful topics and tips for fighting zombies. Read it carefully. It'll probably save your life. All right. So when fighting against a zombie, it has instinctive defenses. Shambling from slow to greater speed, which makes your frontal attack less optimal. Therefore, launching an attack from behind causes more damage if you're not detected. All right. You'll need an accurate concept of time if you want to make it back to the shelter alive before 6 p.m. 
It just occurred to me how ignorant I've been of things. Pure luck is standing at a crossroads while preparation meets opportunity. Even then, it'll only get you so far down the road. You have to be back with the medical supplies before 12 noon, otherwise I'm not going to make it. I need two bandages, two splints, and a bottle of antibiotic tablets. Alright, I'll be back before noon. Alright, we gotta go to the clinic. Back we go. Takes us 15 minutes to get there, and we gotta be back before noon. Alright, we're gonna do this thing. This is my first time to do serious searching while the stinking zombies are roaming around. I better calm down and take things slow. First time I use less caution might be my last. This zombie's blocking the way, so maybe I should try a sneak attack. Alright. Sneak attack! Uh, down he goes. I killed it. I have a five and a half hours to find the medicine for both of us. Alright. Well, let's do this thing. I don't know how fast I should move in here. I didn't know he's going to turn the corner right there. All right, go get him. Go get him. There we go. One zombie down. We're looking good. We're back in speedy mode. I don't remember what she said that I needed, so I'm just going to grab everything. I think it was like a splint, like some bottle of vodka, like some antibiotic tablets. Uh, yeah, I'll take that stuff with me. I don't think I want to fight that guy. He seems pretty tough. He seems like he might kick my ass. I don't know. I'm not in the market to... Hey, there's a painkiller. And we got that. And some splints. Nice. Okay, so we got bandages, splints, and we got painkillers. So I think we're going to have to find... I got the wound bandage. You can finally relocate to someplace safe. I'll leave the rest to Samsara. There we go. Alright, so we're healed up. I feel better now, but I still need a bottle of antibiotics so I can go back and heal Samsara. Alright, let's go do it. We'll find the antibiotics. Down goes the zombie. Antibiotics, come on. Let's see if it's in here right now. Uh, we've got a instant noodle. We've got some metal and some other stuff. I'll take the instant noodle just in case. Like, I think we're probably going to get hungry at some point. Uh, we're going to have to sneak over here. That zombie looks, like, special. Like, it looks like... Let, let me watch the pattern for a second. I want to see what pattern she walks in. Yeah, she comes back around. Okay, we're going to have to wait on her. Oh, never mind. She's seen me. I don't know if I can run from her. How tough is she? Pretty tough. Okay, pretty tough. Did I take any damage right there? I'm still alright. I'm still very healthy. So that's good to know. At least we can take like one little scrum right there without going down. I assume the antibiotics kind of like have to be in here, right? Hey, there's the antibiotics. Alright, take everything with you. If I use the bandage... Can I restore my health? Alright, I have everything Sam sorry I need. It's time to go back to the shelter. Alright, let's go. She's gonna be dead when I get back, huh? We're finally back. Alright, let's tend to your wounds right away. Hopefully it's not too late. How are you feeling? Better. The infection cleared up. No stinky black necrotic tissue. With the splints I can walk, so I guess that makes us even, huh? Life for life. You're welcome. There's something I need to tell you, gal. I just got an incoming message from headquarters. HQ canceled extraction operations and they're not sending a rescue team for us. Okay, great. What are we supposed to do now? Aristotle once said that courage is the greatest quality of mind next to honor. Don't be discouraged, Miss Aaron. HQ gave me coordinates to return to safety. Well, that's like really far, though. If we can go to that location, the human stronghold relay a team to escort us back to base. Alright, but Samsara, that location, it's far away. See, that's what I said. That's what Splatty said. I know. We gotta plan and prepare for a long, hard fight. Assemble whatever we can and gear up. I collected parts and materials already in the storage box. Those will be our initial resource, and we'll have to use them wisely. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. The more resources, the better. Now take the materials you collected earlier. Put them in the storage box. Only take needed items with you and one, two decent weapons. You'll want to preserve as much backpack space as possible, carrying little when leaving the shelter. 
All right, well, we got plenty of time left, so let's go ahead and drop all this stuff off inside the storage box. Oh, we got some wood, and we got some scrap metal. So that's good. Click the button to quickly put resources into the box. Uh, quick add? There we go. All right. There's an unexplored motel I spotted nearby. We can go there for a look. Wait, you want to go with me? You're still recovering. Yeah, I'm banged up, but I'm in better shape than the last time I was in Moscow Red Light District. I'll be fine. Besides, you need me to teach you more advanced techniques. All right. So we just, like, dipping out and going to the hotel? Going to the hotel. Apparently, my defenses are nigh impregnable. All right, let's go to the motel then. You seem to really, really like the idea of spending 15 minutes going to the motel. So that's exactly what we're going to do because I am a rule-following kind of... Oh my god, what are those things? All right, I'm going to share with you some tips. All right. The green thing is disgusting. What is it? It's a kind of larval egg, and it's not near hatching, I think. Hope there's no threat yet, but I'm going to teach you some skills. Look at that zombie over there. Oof, it's deformed and dripping. Tough one if we're to face it. It's stock still. Do I fight it face to face? Good question. You got to learn how to use silence and sound as a distraction. You see that cabinet? Go check it to see what might be inside for raw materials. There's some stuff I can show you how to make. You sure? The sound of rifling through that cabinet might be heard by the zombies. It's okay. Keep an eye on the zombie and don't let him see you. When you're not aware of your environment, something in the environment might sink its teeth in. All right, well. If it hears the sound, hide over there. All right, cool. Sounds good. I get the idea. All right, so the zombie heard me. So we go back over here. All right, all right, all right. Somebody peed in the bathtub. That's very, very, very unsanitary. I killed it. Just so-so. You had more luck than skill, and luck is a fickle mistress and likely to switch to an opponent's favor. That's a big guy over there waiting for you. Another zombie. He's got swollen tumors. I think you can kill that zombie first. Why? It doesn't seem like a threat. It doesn't seem like we should waste time on unnecessary battles. True, but that strong zombie on the other side is a real threat. Take one out, then take out the other. Why the stronger one will be alerted and you might be fighting two zombies at once? Don't fool yourself and take both on. It's true. Alright. So we kill the weak one, we move back over there. I get what she's saying. Alright, well I'm going to loot this thing over here for a little bit first. Like, I, I kind of want to get some treasure. Alright, there's been far too much fighty fighty talky talky, not nearly enough stabby stabby looty looty. Ooh, what is that, a chopper? Nice. Ooh, I like how she actually has to put the backpack down in order for you to do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll equip that as our first weapon right there. So now we've got a chopper. Me chopper is ready. You know, we got to do the whole Spice Marine thing. All right, let's stab this guy in the ass. Here we go. Bow! Down. This guy's going to come over here. We're going to hide inside the little alley. And then we're just going to sneak around behind him and get up and out of the way. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hopefully he doesn't see me. All right, so we snuck past. Now, there's more of these green things over here. Oh, she teleported ahead of us. Man, she's a god. When did you get here? As I said, you don't need to worry about me. Hurry up and finish searching the area. There should be some good stuff here. I should take my time hauling away all the resources. All right, let's do it. I'm going to go get this zombie right here, unless she's going to do the same thing. Bow! Sit down. All right. Let's grab this thingy right here. And it looks like we've got an iron container, and we've got some copper wire. All right. I'm sure there'll be electrical projects or something that we got to do later on in order to get that going. Um, over here. That's probably going to call her in, right? Ooh, a cloth coat, and we've got a leather jacket. Okay. All right. Uh, my guess is that now... We kind of want to be over here. Maybe. 
We'll see what happens, but I've got a suspicion that we kind of want to hide back maybe either over in this corner or over in this corner. I feel like the zombie's probably going to see, though. Well, I couldn't really help out right there because she was blocking the door, all right? Little bit of jank in the tank, but she was blocking the door. Like, I'll let her handle it. I would rather she get scuffed up than I get scuffed up. I mean, I am, after all, the main character, and she is not. Uh, yeah, I'll take all of it. And then we'll go back over this way, maybe? Like, loot this over here. What is that? A sports drink? Oh, nice, dude. We got some Gatorade, just in case we need to hydrate. I don't know how much stuff they want me to, like, bring along here. Oh, zombie's over there. Okay. So he's, like, still wandering around. Can I... I think I can sneak out. And if we sneak out, we now have access to this little area over here, which we didn't before. So yeah, it is kind of like a cat and mouse game of moving the zombies around as much as possible so that you can get to the stuff that you want to have. Damn, how's their brood monster here? No wonder there's so many eggs in the room. What's that thing? It looks scary. Yeah, no kidding. Don't mess with it. Once we're found, those swollen eggs will hatch and whatever's inside them will attack. All right, well, we got to get out of here as soon as possible. It's too late. Oh no, there's little buggies. I'll wait here. Hurry up, get rid of the brood monster. If you can't, we can't run away, and then there's more bugs. Be quick. Alright, I'll do my best. I'll beat it, or I'll die trying. I, don't, I think this is a terrible idea. Oh god. I don't know how I hit it without getting hit back. I'm just gonna DPS through. I think it's my wisest option for right now. If I keep trying to dodge, I'm only getting one hit off and I'm taking more damage, so like, I'm just saying it's probably a better idea just to keep swinging, damage soak the hits, and get it done as fast as possible. Rip it off quick like a band-aid, you know what I mean? Uh, this is a real escape. You did it. It's going to be tough, but you should be able to survive Doomsday even by yourself. Nice. Okay, well, what's wrong? You okay? I feel dizzy. Oh, thank God you're awake. Get out of here. We, You're in no condition to walk. I'm going to drag you. I can't hold this position. We Go now. Zombies are coming at us from everywhere. I'm dry on bullets. Simsara, we can both... No, I'm bleeding like a stuck pig. Save yourself. Get out of here. Go and don't look back. You're going to make it. I believe you. All right. Can I... Can I have her gun? Like, we should at least take her... I feel like she would want us to have her gun. Like, chat, if you and I are ever in a zombie survival situation and I tell you to run and I'm, like, dying on the floor, you know what I mean? Like, take my gun. It's just pragmatic. Don't feel bad about it. Take whatever you need off of my shriveled corpse, okay? I should have... How did this happen? I'm alone again. And we're all busted up and beat up, too. I have to hang tough and endure. I cannot let this heroic sacrifice be for nothing. I'm really tired. Let me sleep first. Okay. Well, like, I feel like... So it gives you a mood and a vitality boost. Let's do it. Mood, vitality boost. Uh, we should probably, yeah, eat some food too, just to keep ourselves happy. I'm gonna dump off the rest of this. Oh, I can't dump off the rest of it right now. Okay, we'll go to sleep. Maybe we'll heal up overnight. I don't know how beat up we are. Oh, dude, we didn't heal at all. We didn't even slightly heal. Okay. Uh, it says I'm very healthy. I don't feel very healthy. 
Like I can hear my own heartbeat in my face and I feel like that's a bad thing. Um, let's go ahead and we'll quick add everything that can just be crafted. I'm gonna equip that in my weapon two slot. Oh, it still takes up an inventory slot. Okay, well can I put, yeah I was gonna say, can I put that inside the box then? We'll save it for later. What do we have inside of here? We have alcohol, we've got bandages. All right, uh, what can I do with the crafting table over here? I wanted to play around with the crafting system a little bit more. So it looks like we can do basic manufacturing for 48 minutes. It's like two in the morning. Oh, it looks like we regenerate as long as we don't have like any real outstanding wounds. Okay, so we got basic manufacturing. Uh, we've got a baseball bat, a high temp burn barrel, an industrial storage barrel put to the best use warm in the home, and a wooded f or a wood fed fire brightening the mood, grilling, barbecuing, basic cookery. Okay. So we've got basic sewing, we've got basic metal working. Um, let's go with the food barrel, I guess. All right, and so now that we're a little sleepy, I'm gonna sleep for a little bit, and we'll sleep for like two hours, just to get that meter filled back up. Okay. What is this right here? Does this have anything good? Damn, if I can get the hell out of here, maybe I'll be a suit. Oh, I can relax for a little bit and get my mood back. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, do I, what kind of foods do I have in here? Like, how much supplies do I have? So, I have a sports drink. I got some ramen noodles. Yeah, dude, I love ramen noodles. Let's for sure have some ramen noodles. That'll be our breakfast today as we'll get down on a little bit of the old ramens. You can call for an airdrop supply after dying three times. Oh, cool. All right. Ramen noodle appears to be holding me over, so in lieu of anything else that we can really work on, I can build the burn barrel now. Do I want to build the burn barrel now? I don't know. I mean, it only takes 30 minutes. We might as well. It's an upgrade to our house. All right, so long-range weapons can be used for distance attacks. Some weapons will have allow a closer distance to get a closer distance to get higher damage. Okay. All right. Well, there's our burn barrel right there. What does it do? Uh, so we can add firewood, and then we can roast things to eat. All right. So we basically got like a little hobo stove right there. Nice. Okay. Well, it's 6:30, so I think we should go out and maybe like actually do some scavenging, possibly. Uh, so there's a couple of locations around. I guess we'll go see what this place is. Let's go look. I mean, the game's not much of a looker, but it's definitely got content. You know what I mean? Like, it's got things to do. Like, there's a lot of research, and there's a lot of building tasks and stuff. We found a house. All right, well, let's check it out. Maybe we'll be able to do something with it. So there's one zombie down there. I'm going to grab this real fast. Looks like a leather jacket, a model toy, and some rubber. Okay, rubber's good. We can definitely use rubber. We can use that to make, like, manufacture, like, sealants and, like, um, well, effectively to manufacture airtight seals. That's the important part. Hopefully she doesn't come all the way over here. I'm hoping I can assassinate her. Uh, she is indeed... Oh, she's not. All right, let's go assassinate her real fast. Go, 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 go. Bap! Down she goes. All right, so she's now dead. Where's the other zombie at? So that zombie's right there. Did he hear that noise? I was going to say, I don't know if he heard that noise. We're going to have to wait on this, though. Making some pretty grody noises, bro. I haven't used the word grody since I was, like, in the sixth grade. I have no idea where that came from. It's just one of those words that popped out, and you're like, all right, I haven't used that word since maybe, like, the seventh grade. Oh, I think he saw me right as I was trying to get rid of him. The chopper is pretty good, though, man. The chopper sits down the zombie, no lie. That thing's pretty nasty. Definitely better than the knife. I only got to swack him, like, twice to get the job done. All right, so we've got a bunch more materials right there. I think that's probably a good thing because I've got a feeling we're going to be doing a lot of building and a lot of fiddling. Hopefully this upper floor is not too heavily populated with the undead. Uh, it does look like there's some around. He may hear when I go into the... Okay, so this guy's got to go first. I do like the stealth aspects of the gameplay. Like, it actually makes the game a bit more fun trying to figure out the pattern for, like, which zombies you have to eliminate in what order 
which ones are going to hear you eliminate those other zombies, you know, like, I like it. He's kind of in a weird spot. I don't know if I can get him. Oh, they don't hear me looting either. But then again, I don't really need to go in that room unless there's a loot note in there, so... What is that? A wooden carving? Alright. I don't know why you got a closet full of wooden carvings, but alright, cool. I think this is the last of it. Oh, my backpack's full, but we got ethanol over here. Yeah, drink that now. And then just pick that up. We gotta keep our mood rocking anyways, so... Yeah, I think that's all the loot nodes. I didn't see anything down in that room, so I think we're done here. I think we can actually, like, get out of Dodge and go back to our base. I like it. Uh, this is Delivery from the Pain. Unfortunately, we're out of time for right now. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on by in order to check out my content. If you don't know who I am or what I do, I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we had Delivery from the Pain. I like it. It's not a very, it's not a good looking game. Like, the textures and the actual, like, characters and whatnot are not, like, you know, super refined or like AAA or anything else like that. But honestly, it is pretty fun. Like, I want to play more. I want to play around with the crafting. I want to keep scavenging buildings and kind of see what's on the horizon. And I think that's never a bad thing because at the end of the day, what a video game is going for is, is it fun? And so far, I'm having fun. I will see you all next time. Thank you for being here. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more. And aside from that, check out the Twitch and the Discord links down below in the description. How you doing? Take care, everybody. I'll have something hot and fresh for you tomorrow.